Hello guys and welcome to a, another three player game of Chaos Reborn. Today I am joined by veteran wizard and game creator Julian Gollop. Hello. And veteran game developer and apprentice wizard Ken Levine. <laughs> Hello, apprentice wizard says. <laughs> Well, he's actually you're quite experienced now, Ken, because you actually won the last game we played. And yeah, yeah. I, I was going to mention that, Julian. Honestly, that I <laughs> some ass in the first game I ever played. I beat the creator of the game, and it's not going to happen again, I don't think. So I just want everybody out there to know that you're not going to yeah. see my victory, but I won. Well, this time I'm I'm not taking it easy on you, Ken. It's going <laughs> to oh, be oh, no holds barred. No holds barred. <laughs> no holds barred. Um, I've just right. summoned a dwarf, so um, see what you can do to that one. Well, I'm going to do one of my old tricks, which I enjoy, which is a skeleton here, dwarf skeleton. can't hurt. Yes, that's right, because he's undead. Now let's see what unstable voltage he's got up here. Remember, seat. don't forget, we've got this other guy down here, Kevin, yeah, yeah. Gonna, who we can't just hate each other. We have to make sure we're not, he's not using our enmity. Yeah, he could actually just wait for us to find it out and then just right. step into mop up. We can't have that happening now. Because well, we played our aggression by by the way our, our where we summoned our our monsters, right? That we sort of pointed them at each other. We did a bit. Yeah, we did a bit. Uh oh, and he's chosen me apparently as a target. Screw him. Well, everyone gets to beat Julian tough. once, but that's usually <laughs> all you get. Why don't we make sure, Kevin? Why don't you and I work together to make sure Julian doesn't survive this one too? <laughs> <laughs> I see where this is going. Oh, yeah. right. Time I'm for gonna, a little mind I'm going to retreat a little bit now. I, I don't like the sound of that. And uh, looking at my spells, i also thinking that I, I've got things to worry about as well. But let me see if I can summon a um, Shadow Wood. This would be really interesting if it, if it works because I will surround myself with a nice... Um, protection of trees. Oh yeah, there we go. Because we don't already have enough trees on the map. Oh uh, yeah. Wow, so, it's a lot of trees. Yeah, my, my shadow wood there, I mean they can attack <laughs> but they can't move. So it gives me a bit of a, a little protection zone. So, so these summoning percentages will never go up over time, will they? Like a low number is always going to be a low number? Well, it'll only go up if, if it shifts towards chaos oh, or right, 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 right. chaos spell, yeah. Right. Right. So the neutral spells will never be affected, though. Okay. So actually, we're at chaos plus six, so you could take Just advantage chaos of that. Spells, right? If you want to go in that direction, yes. If you've got a good selection of chaos spells, it would be a good strategy to try and push it even further towards chaos. Oh, the Kui Blob. <laughs> oh, that gives you three of them. Jeez. Well, they will spread. They will multiply. And they will engulf um, enemy creatures, but not your own creatures. So that's a pretty significant uh, spell to start with. I'm already feeling at a disadvantage here. Well, we just have a lot of graphics in the field, but they may not be useful for, to, to get you. You got that beautiful eagle. And a skeleton. Hmm. Now I suspect he's going to come for me because I, I can see you two two guys have got a pact already. So I don't control the gooey blobs. No, they will spread there. Yeah, I've got the choice. Do I do I try and move through gooey blobs or do I try and move through trees? Ah, uh, good choice. It's maneuvering into a position to attack me, so I'm going to try and maneuver my move my wizard away. Yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is move my wizard. And I'm going to try and summon a spider. Oh, here he comes. Now, I can't do much against your skeleton, Ken, with my dwarf because your skeleton's undead. So I'm going to hobble in unstable voltages direction. Oh, and the goo blob spreading. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Spreading. Nice. Well. I suggest you probably you move a bit away from your blob to give it room and to give you some casting space. 
Oh, an attack with a skeleton. Not an illusion. Not an illusion. You're a, you're you're a dwarf. There. Well, it could be. You don't know until it dies. Basically, if if it if it vanishes in a puff of smoke, then it's an illusion. Or and if it, if you kill it and it spirals into the ground, it's real. All right. The difference is there's there's no there's no um, casting cost. There's no, no there's no there's no failure. There's no failure. Right? There's no failure when you summon an illusion. No. So you don't know if it's an illusion yet. All until right. you try disbelieving it. Now, at the risk of giving Ken tips, your skeleton is also safe from those trees because yeah. the same undead rule applies. Yeah, this is true. You can just uh, walk through my shadow wood with your skeleton. I probably shouldn't cast him there. That was dumb, but... That's All okay. right. That's okay. I mean, you're, you're in a safe position at the moment. No, but my, my blob can't spread now to that spot. No, it can't spread to that spot. You can say it. You can say I made a bad play. It's all right. I won't get on my feelings hurt. <laughs> it's only very slightly bad. I mean, I, I think you're in a reasonably good position at the moment. What, what you want is, is for, for me and the unstable voltage to battle it out because, you know, we can't reach you because of your blob. See, this could be one of those times, though, like I, I get to, you know, play a game with one of my favorite game designers of all time, and then he crushes my, my, my hopes and spirits by mocking me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you can like every time I play XCOM I'll just weep a little <laughs> afterwards you make, this I is your chance never, I would never be that cruel never don't believe it he would he would he's well, a son of a bitch when it, oh, let me just try and attack unstable voltages eagle with my shadow wood uh, then I'm going to try and trap your skeleton Ken with my spider and your spider's now trapped in a web Ooh. So can he fight? He can't, uh, he can't attack, no. He has to try and fight his way out of the web. Oh, I see. Blob there. Now, if you had another creature, it could come up and try and attack the web to free your skeleton. I see. I see. So That's you cool. could bring your, uh, your goblin that you've got up there to come and help you. Now, I only need to try and get rid of this <laughs> eagle which is bearing down on me, and it's not that pleasant. Julian, how much of the game is redesigned, or is this the same exact design the original game had? It's very close to the original game. I, I, I've changed some of the, the combat mechanics, but otherwise it's still very simple that you either you just kill or, or don't kill with the combat. Um, the main difference we've got here is that the uh, we know we've got terrain, we've got an environment, we've got elevation, and you know we've got you know trees and stuff around. So that really is probably the the biggest immediate difference from the original game. Uh, but the original game had Gooey Blob, for example. It had Shadow Word. Oh, your goblin's, yeah, it's going to be surrounded by the Gooey Blob. Yeah, i got to get going there. Or walk around. So, should I move my wizard, you think, up back to the mount or no? Um, yeah, you're safe. I mean, it's only, it was only uh, Unstable Voltage's eagle that was posing a threat to you at that point, but he's way across the map here. Uh, there, So you, you could go up there, yeah. And now Julian has his uh, magical space pony. <laughs> I've got give my... him a lot more maneuverability. Yeah, I can ride the unicorn, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And now you I love, guess... You love that unicorn. Oh, no, was it a Pegasus last time? I had a Pegasus last time, yeah, and I was riding a Pegasus. But, yeah, the unicorn is still pretty good. Is it bad that I confuse the two sometimes? What does that say about me as a game designer? Nothing well, good. nothing bad. I mean, it might... Might show you got a problem with you know mythology, but oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unicorn has the horn. Pegasus yeah, has the wings. It's on. Yes, oh dear! I, I tried to summon a skeleton but fail. I really need to do something about that eagle. Let's see if my tree can dispatch it. I really, it's got a sixty percent chance. Oh dear! And yes, yes, I did it. What's so, cool about this, it, it's so different than, like, like the map is so different than the last time we played now. Like, we didn't have any of these sort of growing, spreading creatures in the no, last game. Yeah, you've got a random selection of spells. At least this is the yep. way it works in the, in the prototype at the moment. Oh, that's cool. And I am, um, I'm going to, oh, my spider is kind of trapped. This is a bit annoying. I'm going to try and go round my own trees. And my, oh, my dwarf has to attack one of the, no, he can move a little bit. It's going to take a good blob. Uh, 
And that is it. Okay, so my wizard. Shall I go and attack Ken? No. I, no I'm going to head in your direction, Ken. I'm a bit Man. wary, but let's see what happens. Can I cast a skeleton? Let's see. Oh, yes. Uh-oh. You'll stay away from your blood, though. I did consider using my eagle to try and take out that unicorn before you got on it, but if it would have been unsuccessful, I'd have had my eagle parked between two trees. Not that it saved me anyway. <laughs> no. How come my goblin couldn't... Oh, he can't attack the yeah, skeletons. skeleton. Uh -oh, stupid dead. play. Undead, yeah. Poorly done, Dan. Poorly done. Mm. Hmm. If you've got some undead creatures of your own, it would be good. Skeleton, vampire, zombie... They're all good. Unfortunately, no. Uh, okay. Um, what else would happen? Oh. Now that would do the trick. The hardware is coming out. Yeah. So Ken I, I has. I'm in trouble soon. So. Buffed his wizard with a magic sword, which makes him incredibly powerful in close combat. What I advise you to do is, if you've got a mount, you could summon that and ride it. Yep. The stable voltage is trying to deal with my dwarf. Oh, and he's killed it. He's killed it. And a little bit of a facepalm moment as my manticore failed to cast. Yeah, yeah, that would have been very nice for you. But tragic. How, many, how many spells are there in all, in all, Julian? In the current prototype, there's only 33. Uh, but in, the f in our first release of, of the game, our first uh, full release, there will be 80 spells. Here, here, gotta, gotta redo that as marketing. In our current prototype, we have an amazing range of 33 spells. <laughs> but in the final product, you'll be a mind-boggling, mind-boggling over 80 spells. There you go. Yeah, uh, yeah, which is pretty good. Especially as they're all good. quite different in many ways. I um, Oh, I could go for a manticore. Let's try that one. Let's try manticore. I'm gonna get so why? Damn it. Damn, why, did, damn it! Why did you move closer to me, out of range of your skeleton, when I have a sword? Is that is that? Well, lot? you can't attack me straight away because you've only got a, a movement range of two, and your blob can't spread further. So I'm I'm safe for the moment. Oh, actually, you could get me if you had a, a magic bolt. How come I, I can't? Is this, can I move at the beginning? No. You can move and then cast a spell. But I I, I don't. Oh, I'm still on my turn. Yes, not turn. It's your turn now. Oh, and a blob spreading. So what you could do is, um, yeah, you could use a magic bolt against me if you had one, but you'd also yeah. be vulnerable to a magic bolt from me. I might just do that. Really? Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my but, but you, yeah, I killed your unicorn, but you have, oh, you have a good chance of getting me back there, don't you? Um, if I had a magic bolt, yes. Uh, I, can't, I don't think I've got one now. I'll, I'll check. Skeleton is still stuck in a web. Your uh, your goblin still can't attack my skeleton, so we're, it's almost a little bit of a stalemate at the moment. And Stable Vault just summoned a an elf, which I'm sure he's very happy with. Now, I know it's early days, but talking about spells, was there plans to sort of keep adding additional spells as time goes on after initial release? Yeah, we will do expansion packs if if uh, you know if it's if that's what players want, then that's what they're going to get. Because there's, you know, there's endless scope for for interesting stuff here. Now I've got a real dilemma here. I can cast Magic Bolt against Ken Levine, but if it fails, I'm going to be seriously exposed to a counterattack. And give it relatively early stage in the game. I'm just going to. I'm, for now, I'm going to retreat because I'm not in any don't danger. Or don't be a coward. This is, this is your danger. chance to kill Levine. Uh, there may well be a chance, but I will. Save it for late and let oh, oh. summon a giant, summon a giant, Ow. and and your goblin's down. Your goblin is down. It's one That's not a good turn for. Killed one of your blobs. Now for my spider, it's going to come around and advance an unstable voltage, and that's me done for the turn. Blob is still spreading. Now you've got something to worry about, Ken. Yeah, I do. You're right. I would run away if I were you. Yeah. Should I go? I'm thinking I can go. 
and go to 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 the bottom right of the my mound here beneath the behind the gooey blob. It probably makes yeah. the most sense, right? Yeah, definitely. If you uh, want to play the coward, yeah, go for it. <laughs> but I'm not saying. Yeah, bastard. <laughs> I guess it is one of the great things with the uh, modern PC era is obviously when you released the original on the ZX Spectrum, once you released it, that's what you got. There was no ability yeah. back then to add anything extra to the game. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that disbelief there. <laughs> it yeah. seemed too good to be true. You disbelieved my giant and I thought you'd be terrified. Oh, and my, oh, my spider's gone. All of a sudden it's not looking that brilliant for me. You didn't? Uh, you psychologically gave away that giant because you didn't seem you you weren't gloaty enough when when, he, when you cast yeah, right, him. Yeah, right, right. I, I I didn't play that very well, did I? I? I read your mind. Yeah, are you a poker player, Ken? No, but I play a lot. I mean, no, I I I'm not a gambler by nature. But I'm a gamer, not a gambler. I don't love yeah. Not really. I that either. Let me see. What I've got. Uh, I'm I'm pretty down on creatures now. I, I'm really seriously down. Let me see what I've got. I have what I think uh, is an interesting question, Julian. Sure. Fire if up. Ken's gooey blob encroaches on my web skeleton, will it attack the web? Oh, that's a good question. I at the moment it doesn't seem to be spreading on there, does it? It, it won't attack the web. No, it will attack. It will. It won't do anything because it can't attack your skeleton. It will just stick your skeleton right, in addition okay. to the web. Then I'm just going to help me out in some strange way there. It hasn't spread onto your skeleton. But... So I can attack the skeleton, right? Um, with... It says ninety. It says ninety-two percent on. Oh him, yeah, right? you can. Yeah, and you've got a very good chance of killing him. Yeah, because you've got a magic sword. I think I best do that. Okay, give it your best shot. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and your skeleton hey, freed himself from finally. the web. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm, but I'm forgetting about our friend High Voltage down here, who <laughs> seems to be like merrily casting spells while we... Yeah, you know, he's what, building up his struggle. army. Why did you he's just go and stand there? That wasn't what I wanted you to do. But we shall try. He's trying to free his skeleton from the, my spider web. Maybe. Does the elf have a ranged attack? He certainly does. It's very intuitive. Certainly does. Good. And he's attacked the Google. Oh. And oh, yeah. again, there's another manticore. I know. To to summon. It would be nice to see a manticore. It's a lovely creature. Lovely, lovely creature. I, I would like consider just casting it as an illusion, but I know you would have instantly disbelieved <laughs> it. So. Yeah. Now I've got a uh, I've got a dragon to try and summon, and it's a really really slim chance, but I'm going to try it. Oh my goodness me, would you believe it? I summoned a green dragon. Is it real? Who knows? Please. Please. Is it real? Dragon. Now, is, is the green dragon the lawful one or the neutral it's one? It's the neutral one. The neutral one. So it's only 20% chance to cast it, but it's a nice, a nice spell to have at this stage in the game. Hmm. It's real. Uh -oh. It is real. Oh, that's not good. I think he no. baited you in there, Ken. He did. He psychologically manipulated me. Skeleton killed a tree. Ken Levine tree felling service in action. That's right. It's my side job. I know. I feel good about where you're at, Kevin, right now. I think you're... I, I, I yeah. feel like I'm making progress here. You just freed your skeleton. Oh, another tree down. <laughs> yeah. So it's really got it in I don't see how I would stop the the assault of Kevin here. He's in a good position, actually. I, I do still have to um, make my way to the other side of the board. It is a little tricky yeah. at the moment. It's not... Uh... Oh, dear. I was really hoping that would work. <laughs> Just yeah, trying to get a little nice. prepared for later. Would have been nice. What should I attempt here? Shooting my trees as well. 
My goodness. Well, will... He had a turn left and he couldn't get anywhere useful. Yeah. So. so what to do with my dragon now? I could go in for the attack. I could. Oh, so the dragon's got flame breath, but it's not that strong. I'm going to... I'm going to go for it, Ken. I'm going to try and attack you with my dragon. Right. Oh, but you survived. Oh, wow. That was quite lucky. Quite lucky. Now so now I've got to worry about your skeleton. Oh, no. I'm going to move my wizard behind there, and I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try and cast Subversion on your skeleton. Let's see if I can take control of it. Oh, and I succeeded. The skeleton is mine. It's a little cheeky. Now, Ken, you've got an interesting choice here because you've got a magic sword, which does actually give you quite a good chance of slaying the dragon. Oh, it's got a 48%. Yeah, so, yeah, almost 50-50. It's not terrific. Uh, it might be your best bet unless you've got a, a powerful spell. I mean, even magic bolt is not going to be as effective as your sword. I'm gonna... Or shield. Uh, now, that's probably a nice place. That's going to protect you somewhat from my dragon. Oh, why don't I not? Oh, I don't have my skeleton. No, that's my skeleton now. I, I took control of it. I subverted Oh, that's what happened. Sorry. Yeah, I cast a spell called Subversion on your skeleton, oh, so it's now man. mine. Yeah, so you are in a very tricky situation. I'm going to record the last game where I was doing so well. <laughs> because that's just not the way it works. Not the way it works, is it? That's not the way the cookie crumbles. The way you planned it, Gollop. This is the way you planned the whole thing. No, I'm not trying to make myself look good here, really, seriously. Mm -hmm. It's a way to get all the ladies, right? Winning games of Chaos Reborn. Uh, I wish. Hasn't, uh, hasn't worked yet. Okay, this may be controversial. Ah, oh, you tried to get my dragon with a magical attack. Oh. It's, yeah, the magical attacks are nice because they've got no range. But uh, the magic has, uh, sorry, the, my dragon has good magic resistance. Okay, I'm going to try for your, kill your wizard now. Now it's only a 53% chance of killing you, Ken. Let's see if it works. No. 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 So that I mean, shield, the shield would serve me well. How much, how much percentage did the shield give me, percentage-wise? Oh, I mean, it at least doubled your protection there, at least. Yeah. See, my last spell cast was in no way trying to uh, save Ken from your dragon. <laughs> I'm I'm seriously retreating here. Uh, what can I do? I'm going to try doing a little bit of disbelieving here. What can I disbelieve? I'm trying to disbelieve the line. I know it's real. Unstable voltage. This line is real. I have to end turn. That gooey blob is really persisting through this game. Yeah, it's it's dying out now. And again, I think it's all down to the sword fight with the dragon. I'm going to take a chance here. I may regret this tomorrow, but oh, I don't think I will regret it yeah. tomorrow. That, was that, is a, that is a tough dragon. Not a forty-eight percent chance. In yeah, that, but actually, given the yeah, given your magical equipment, actually they're pretty evenly matched at the moment. The dragon and your wizard, so it could go either way. What happened if you summoned it? I can. Are there different weapons besides the magic sword, or is it just the magic sword? Uh, if you summoned, yeah, there's only magic sword. As well, well you got a magic bow as well. Like if you, which, what happens if you summon the bow when you have the sword? They just replace. Yeah, it? you can. No, you can have a bow and a sword. Not a problem. Really? If, you, if you've got extra swords, it will just buff your existing sword. Oh, make I it even more that. powerful. Ah, uh, my trees are being. For your failed. sake, I hope that dragon wins this attack. Because I've got some tricks up my sleeve at this point. Well, let's see if the dragon does it this time. Oh, oh and it does. And it does. And the, and the blob is going as well. No, yeah. I think that I think he's got the cheats enabled again. <laughs> I I seriously, um, I do apologise, Ken, for that that uh, Kevin, have you have you seen him do this well, before? He lures <laughs> he lures you with the first game that you don't record, and then he crushes you in the second game. Is that his um, style? I'll be perfectly honest. I think with with us, it was the other way around. Yeah, really? Did, did you win the first game against? With the, 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 I uh, I lost the practice game, but uh, beat you on the first recorded game. I think. Yeah. Okay. Let's try and get your 
But it, it could have been a publicity stunt. I don't really know. Oh, your Ralph was an illusion. I should have known that. I should have known it. <laughs> That's uh, left me in not a particularly great position, though. No, because you've got a, a unicorn and a lion. I've got a skeleton and a dragon. So I'm feeling pretty lucky here. You did have a skeleton. Oh, well, did have a skeleton, yeah. Um... But my issue is getting to you because you like to hide behind stuff. As map is... Oh. Another tree gun. Well, my dragon will be on its way to you shortly. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm fully expecting it to arrive shortly. However, I cannot outrun your lion, which is a problem. So I'm going to try. But I can't do it. I'm going to try and running it. Uh, I've got magic attack here. Shall I? Yeah, I'm going to use this. Let's see. I will avenge you, Ken. Oh, that didn't work. It didn't work. You it didn't work. You try to avenge me. I have a feeling Julian's got this rigged. I, I don't know. I think he's going to win this one. I just have a bad feeling. There's always a possibility. Yeah, that's the interesting thing about Chaos Reborn is that you oh, cannot dear. rely 100% on anything. Yep. You've uh, you've got to play it safe if you can, and and take risk when you need to. Oh dear! I was really hoping that was going to work. Yeah, that could have been nasty. Yeah, basically, if I lose my dragon, then it's probably me that's going to lose the game. So, actually, my my position is not that that strong. I advance it, my dragon, and attack. it could definitely go either either way right now. Oh, well, the unicorn's gone. The unicorn is gone. I'm going to hide behind the tree and... Um, no, I can't do that either. I can't do anything here. I'm just going to end my turn then. To rely on my dragon. I'm almost out of spells. Right. It's got no so useful spells at the moment. There's a lot that I can do here. If I try and hit the dragon, I've only got a 7% chance of actually yes. uh, killing it, so... Yeah, it could do with Ken's sword, but unfortunately it disappeared with him. Oh, nice try. It's not over Spider. yet. Spider, that could web my dragon, and, and that would disable it. Okay, let's see. I'm going to get the dragon to land on the other side of the tree and attack you. I knew this was coming, a direct attack. Oh, and there it goes. There oh, it goes. there we go. Well, well wow. that, was, that was a good game. Thank and you after very all much, of that... Ben. Thank you very much, Kevin. The, the line was an illusion. <laughs> was it? <laughs> <laughs> You're shooting blanks there. Uh, uh, why didn't I try just believing? I should have done, shouldn't I? Yeah, that was really weird. Anyway, a fantastic game. And... Was... Uh, I, I didn't. I never played it before, so because it was came out in a non system we didn't have in the states. But I think I think it's um, it's really like a pre really prefigured Magic the Gathering in a lot of ways in terms of like you have the deck of spells and putting it on a board. It just it brings out the old board game nerd in me in a very big way. Yeah, well, so the original uh, game prototype that I made was actually a, a card game, and it had just like a big eleven by seven grid for the board, but everything was on cards: the wizards, the spells, the creatures. Have you, have, you, have you shown images of that to to the people on the Kickstarter yet? Because I think people would like to see that's that. A, that's a great idea. I think I, I will do that. That's a great they suggestion. Want get, they want to get in your head, my friend. <laughs> yes. Um, I'd love to see it. So, cool. I, I think I think I, I can't wait till it's further along and 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 there's more to play. It's great. Thank you, Ken. Well, there you go, guys. You have been watching Chaos Reborn. Please remember that what you have seen here has been a gameplay prototype. It isn't feature complete, and the graphics and sounds are all placeholder. A big thank you once again to game creator Julian Gollop, and also to Ken Levine for another amazing game. Remember to go and check this game out on Kickstarter. There's still time left to show your support. You can find the link below in the video description, and there should also be an annotation on the screen. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will see you next time. So until then, goodbye for now.